Good morning, St. Rose. My name is Alec. And I'm Christina. This is the all-new St. Rose. Your daily dose of everything happening at St. Rose High School. On today's edition, we will have your daily announcements, morning prayer, and the Pledge of Allegiance. That and more on this edition of St. Rose Live for Wednesday, January 4th, 2017, and today's schedule is regular. Now is the time for this, now it's time for this morning's prayer, so please put yourself in the presence of God, clear your mind, and open your heart, and please stand for this morning's prayer. Audio Jungle celebrate the life and works of the first American born, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. She is the founders of the first American religious community for women, the Sisters of Charity. She opened the first American parish school and established the first American Catholic orphanage. She accomplished all of this after converting to the faith and while raising five children. She, re she rests in Shrine Basilica, bearing her name in Emmitsburg, Maryland. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, you bless Elizabeth Seton with gifts of grace as wife and mother, educator and foundress, so that she might spread her life in service to your people. Through her example and prayers, may we learn to express our love for you in love for our fellow men and women. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please, stand, re, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. St. Rose, today is Wednesday, January 4th, 2017, and today is a regular schedule. Let's take a look at our daily announcements. St. Rose High School will host its annual talent show on Thursday, January 26th at 7.30 p.m. in the Little Theater. Sign-ups begin on January 3rd. Tryouts will be held on Thursday, January 12th after school in the Little Theater. The library is now open to all students. Library hours are as follows. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 7.30 a.m., and Tuesday and Thursday, starting at 7.45 a.m. The St. Rose High School service provider, Cafeterias, has implemented a point-of-sale debit system for school lunches. Your school ID can be used as a debit card to pay for your lunch after setting up your account online at www.myschoolaccount.com. For more detailed information on setting up your account, please see the St. Rose website or Schoology. Make a wish. There will be a meeting on Friday, January 6th, during the three lunch periods. Please eat quickly and attend to find out about our next few fundraisers. We have raised just under $3,000 this year. Let's keep the momentum and enthusiasm going. See you on Friday. Campus Ministry. Did you make a New Year's resolution to become a better person, physically, academically, socially, or spiritually? Any resolution made to improve who you are is a great thing, and we would like you to help. In Matthew's Gospel, we hear the story of St. Peter walking on water. Peter, as Christ's invitation, steps out of the safety and security of the boat onto the tumultuous sea. He does this trusting in God, but quickly gets distracted by the events around him, loses focus, and sinks. Do not be afraid to step out of the boat. Do not be afraid to try something new and encounter Christ in a new and profound way. Campus Ministry. After exams, Campus Ministry will be rolling out a series of new programs to help you grow deeper into your faith. If you like movies, check out the cin Cinematic Spirituality, where we will m watch a movie and explore the spiritual or theological meanings present within. Do you like music? We'll check out those themes and songs as well. Contact Mr. Petrello with any questions. Details will be coming next week. Friday service. There is no Friday service this week. We will resume next week, Friday, January 13th. 
Helping Hands, we will have a mandatory meeting on Monday, January 9th at 745 in room 104. Liturgy, on Tuesday, January 10th, Mass will be offered in the church for members of any academic language or heritage club, environment, history, Latin, Irish, Spanish, French clubs, science lab assistants. Mass is open to all. Please be in the church by 7.50 so we can begin the liturgy promptly at 8 o'clock. March for Life. It's not too late to sign up for the March for Life. Please just see Mr. Matrillo. The trip will cost $10 and it covers breakfast, transportation, to and from Washington, D.C., and more. Join the St. Rose March for Life Schoolology in the group information. Operation Santa. Operation Santa was a tremendous success. As a community, we gathered over 600 children's vitamins, nearly 200 toothbrushes, 8,400 adult vitamins, almost 5,000 ibuprofen tablets, and over 2,000 Tums. And that's only part of the list. Check out the poster by Room 104 to see the complete list of goods collected. Thank you for your generosity. Who's he, what's it? Last week, you were asked to find the name of the head covering Pope Benedict in the 16th, Pope Benedict XVI was wearing. There was only one correct answer, and it is the Camaro. The, Cam the Camaro was a regular part of the pontiff's attire until 1960. Now it only makes a few occasional appearances. Many popes are depicted wearing the Camaro in the official portraits. Our current leader board, our current leader board is Miss Quillis with 300 points. Mia Quillis with 300 points. Aaron Morgan with 265 points. Allison Darcy with 245 points. And Emma Spang with 225 points. Next week will be our final week of Who's What's It until exams are over. When we resume, prizes will be announced and all scores will be reset to zero and the game will begin again. If you have any questions, suggestions, or please message Mr. Petrillo via Schoology. If you, your question is used, you'll receive 75 points. Prints and Imprints, St. Rose Literary Magazine, is excited to announce the theme for this year's edition is Awakening. Get those creative juices flowing and submit your poetry, prose, photos, drawings, prints, illustrations, paintings, and or graphic designs to hcarlotts at strose.k12.nj.us. Please join us Please join us for weekly meetings beginning the first week of December on Thursday after the school in room 203 and 302. Do not forget to join the Lit Mag Schoology group. The Wild Goose. We are proud to introduce The Wild Goose, a 14-episode series by Father Dave Cavancator that is aimed at drawing us into a deep relationship and understanding of the Holy Spirit. The Wild Goose will begin Wednesday, January 4th, and the series will continue for 14 weeks. This program is open to all St. Rose High School students and faculty looking to better understand the person of the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit received at Confirmation, or are simply interested in learning more about the faith. And those are your daily announcements. If you missed any of today's announcements, you can check the monitors in the hallway and the cafeteria or log on to St. Rose's website and rewatch our show. Coming up next, we will go back in time with a technology retrospect and today's clip of the day. But first, here's today's shout out. Time for the shout out. Which of these is not true about electric vehicles as compared with gasoline powered vehicles? You know what to do. Is it lower fuel cost, greater range, lower emissions, or higher sticker price? You've got three seconds, go. All of these statements are generally true about electric vehicles except option B. Their range is shorter than that of gas powered cars. That's your answer and that's your shout out. It's now time for today's clip of the day. Go ahead, Tyler. Rarely do two-year-olds take a look in this, at this video, which is horrifying at times. The nanny cam captures twin toddler brothers playing with their Utah, in their Utah bedroom when the boys climb into a dresser, sending it crashing onto, the little, onto little Brock trapping him under, underneath as two agonizing minutes go by. His brother appears to be figuring out a way to help the two-year-old who tries to lift the dresser, but it's too heavy. When he tries pushing it up, somehow moving it just enough, he pushed it with all his might 
and finally releasing his brother. The video is startling, but the parents say they wanted to release it to the warn parents that this could happen to them. And that's today's clip of the day. And that will do it for us today. Thank you for watching this edition of St. Rose Live. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Christine. And I'm Alec. And have a great day here at St. Rose. See you tomorrow. God bless.